Female bodybuilders are a rare breed. There are just 70 professionals in the world. British-born Gail Moher is in the top 10. She has thousands of fans around the world who idolize her physique. From singer-songwriters to um, multi-millionaires. It's the best job in the world. I don't really know why I like muscular women. <laughs> it's just in your genes. Hmm? Welcome to the extraordinary world of muscle worship. Yeah, well, four arms are probably bigger than my biceps. <laughs> Moher had her first taste of the limelight as a teenage beauty queen. At 19, she was crowned Miss Norwich in her hometown. More than two decades on, Gail is still trying to find fame and fortune through her looks. But she's changed an awful lot. Initially, when I saw pictures of the physique, I liked the look. I'd already, as a child, been into modeling and fashion shows. I enjoyed the attention, I guess, without actually verbally having to express yourself. I think it's a sport that people who are not involved in it cannot possibly understand and even fathom what we do to ourselves. Gail's bodybuilding career grew out of a chance encounter with a trainer in her local gym. She took up the sport seriously in the late 80s and soon after moved from Norwich to the United States to compete full time. Seven, Gail Moore. Almost 20 years later, she's still hungry for the big prizes. She's just arrived back home in Scottsdale, Arizona from bodybuilding's ultimate event, the Miss Olympia. It was Gail's first time on stage in 18 months. A divorce from her third husband had kept her out of competition. I guess, really, I didn't expect to even qualify. Not that I'm not capable, but I didn't think mentally I could, could get myself back into mentally, and maybe physically get myself back into the shape, because it takes a lot of mental power to get in the shape. Gail spent a year training flat out for the Olympia. She came ninth and won nothing. At that end of the leaderboard, it's slim pickings. Only the top three place getters win big money. So unlike most elite athletes, just a day after competing, she's straight back to her day job. I have an appointment with someone for a, if you want to call it, muscle worship session, or someone who wants to meet, someone who has muscles, someone who has a you know, fascination for, um, for muscles. That's what I'm off to now. Well, I was nearly at a point be perfectly honest with you, of possibly even cancelling this appointment because it wasn't in the right frame of mo you know right frame of mind to be doing it. But I have to think of you know money. I just it pays the bill. Muscle worship to me is just um, I even hate that term muscle worship. Can't stand it. Um, like I can't stand the term sessions either. Uh, I have to look at it as someone who wants to come along <clears throat> and meet someone that has muscles. It's like if you had the chance to um, say you're into, I don't know, let's say Tom Cruise or whatever, and you had the chance to meet him personally and it cost you X amount of dollars to do it, I'm sure a lot of people would do it, so I define it as nothing different to that. I don't put a name on it, I just, I'd, um, I just call them appointments. It's more popular than what you think, you know, um, men, men and women liking women that have muscle. It's, it used to be thought of as um, people would never speak about it. They're more, I find people now are more open about it, you know. Um, people will approach me more outside, you know, tell me you know, how much they like it. People are more open to saying, wow, I, I like that, you know. I mean, the people I meet that come to see me are such a broad spectrum of people from, from, from singer-songwriters to um, multi-millionaires to male models. Today's muscle enthusiast is Rommel, a 39-year-old bus driver who lives near Gale in Phoenix. 
A longtime fan of female bodybuilding, he never passes up the chance to meet Gail when she's at home. First time that I saw a physique like that probably would be on Venice Beach. I went there and moved out to California and ended up seeing a whole bunch of bodybuilders, both male and female, and thought, wow, this is something that looks larger than life. This is huge, this is big, and I was curious about it, even though I wasn't curious enough to work out myself. Bigger is better in almost everything, whether it's body types or cars or stereos or TVs or whatever, so people like big. And I'm one of those. When it comes to bodybuilding, I have a chance to meet somebody famous, and that is very attractive to me. This will be my second time seeing Gail. First time was a very nice experience. Uh, she's very easy to talk to, very easy to get along with. Uh, there's some anticipation. I mean, you, you always get excited to see somebody that uh, you wouldn't normally get a chance to interact with. You just kind of you get a little bit more excited the closer the, to actually getting there. Rommel can only afford a couple of sessions a year. Hey, how are you? So seeing Gail is a big deal. Come on in. Thank you. Been in a while. Rommel's Don't hour with her is costing him a week's wages. But the honor of seeing a bodybuilding superstar in prime physical condition makes it worth every penny. So you said you wanted me to lift you. Mm -hmm. And how much are we wearing these then? Mm -hmm. About 190. So I should be making you do this. I'm the one who just got done competing. What's up with this picture? This is nice. Yeah. How big are these these days? You know, I don't know. Did you bring a tape measure with you? No, those are good. Those are solid. <laughs> Each session is different, but generally Gail will pose for her clients, as well as allowing them to touch, kiss, or massage her muscles. Okay. Definitely solid. Occasionally, Gail will wrestle. She'll even lift her clients. Weight permitting. Oh, this is good. Yeah, people always comment on my British sense of humour when they come on to these appointments because I guess I have a, you know, we have a dry sense of humour. Like flex the quads. Oh, I can? Yeah. But Gail also has very strict rules about what's on offer. You know, with these appointments, I only know what I do. I couldn't tell you what other women uh, do outside of, you know, the wrestling or the muscle yeah. worship. It's too much sense. Mm -hmm. I just pay attention to myself. Right. Enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I will get approached as to whether, you know, there's anything more to be offered. Someone hasn't asked me and they come along and that's what they're expecting and they're in for a surprise because that's not what's going to happen. <laughs> you can drop me. <laughs> I think bodybuilders are very self-critical and you never see how you look. I don't think we're ever happy with how we look. So when you have someone telling you, you know, how great you look, it's very flattering. Yeah, one of us is in shape, and that's not me. Gail's popularity spreads way beyond the States, and in a few days' time, due to popular demand, she's off on a six-city whistle-stop tour to meet the muscle lovers of Europe. One of these days, I'm going to get you. Gail Moher is one of the superstars of female bodybuilding. But unlike most professional athletes, she makes little money from her sport. So Gail supplements her income by meeting fans for private muscle worship appointments. It's important to me that they're here for the right reasons. You know, the muscle thing, or um, I don't necessarily have to know about the sport, but I mean, why? you have to have an interest to want to come along in the first place. You know, I hope everyone who comes along has a good time, and I think he had a good time here when he was laughing and smiling. Gail looks incredible. She definitely looks in contest shape. It pretty much leaves me speechless. Have you ever had a relationship with any of the... Hell no. What? <laughs> um, I have not ever had a relationship with any of the... any of the people I see for appointments. Would you consider it? And I would not consider it either. <laughs> I like men. I don't have anything against men. Um, learned a lot, about, a lot about men from this, I guess. 